In these examples, we'll talk about the limit as x approaches infinity. So in the first one, we have the limit of the function 2x to the third plus 50x over x to the third as x approaches infinity. So the first thing we want to do when we have a rational function or a polynomial function is to make sure that the domain um, is not restricted by the number that is that the limit is being taken to. So in other words, this domain is all reals, but x is cannot be equal to 0. So we're OK, because x is going to infinity. So it's, it's not like we can't put <laughs> infinity in here. Now, infinity is not a number. It's just a concept. It means it, it grows without bound. But we can think of, we can evaluate this limit by looking at putting in a very large number. I'm going to put in infinity. And, and uh, for a math purist, that would kind of drive a person crazy to, to actually put infinity in, because infinity is not a number. But I just want to uh, show what's happening here. So plus 50 times infinity all over infinity to the third power. Now, what's going to happen? Infinity is well, it's not even a number. It, it's humongous. It's, it goes on without bound. So, so really, this part, this 50 infinity compared to infinity to the third power is nothing. It's nothing compared to infinity to the third power. Or think of 10 billion to the third power times uh, 50 times 10 billion. Now, what about infinity cubed divided by infinity cubed? Well, those would cancel out. After we got rid of this, those would cancel out. So in the end, all we have is 2 over 1. So we can say that the limit, the limit of this function, I'll just shorten it to f of x, as x approaches infinity equals 2. That's 2 over 1. So that is our answer for this first problem. Now in this next case, when the numerator of the rational function has a higher degree than the denominator. So this numerator degree is the third power, and the degree of the denominator is 4. Then what we, we're going to have is a larger number in the denominator. So let's, uh, again, look at what happens when we plug in infinity. Again, infinity is not a number, but let's just see a really huge number. So 3 times infinity to the third power plus 6 times infinity squared all over 2 times infinity to the fourth minus 4 times infinity squared. And I'm just enough of a math purist to even, it, it bothers me even a little bit to throw infinity in as a number because it's a concept. But, but it's a very good way to understand what's happening here. Uh, again, next to enormous to the cube power, to the third power, enormous to the second power doesn't mean much. So we can just kind of cancel that out. Not kind of, we can, because it's, it's insignificant compared to infinity to the third power. Likewise, 4 times infinity squared is, is nothing compared to infinity to the fourth. Now what we have is uh, a giant number, 3 times infinity to the third power, divided by an even bigger number. And what happens is this part, what you have is a, a big number, but divided by an, an even infinitely larger number, because it is in infinity uh, times more. That's the definition of being uh, multiplied by itself four times. So this entire thing then goes to 0, or it can be thought of as 0, because this denominator gets so much bigger. So something divided, something small divided by something large goes to 0. So then the limit, we can think of the limit of, I'll call this one g of x, as x approaches infinity equals 0.